Are you taking AP Biology and are wondering what to expect on your AP exam in May? Well, you're in the right place. Let's take a look at what you can expect on test day and how to best prepare for the exam. The AP Biology exam is the culmination of everything you have learned throughout the course. Here's a quick summary of what you should have covered. The chemistry of life, which includes the structure and properties of water, elements, macromolecules, and nucleic acids. Cell structure and function, which was a deep dive of the inner workings of cells. Cellular energetics, which was an overview of the processes of energy capture, energy use, enzymes, and how the environment impacts these processes. Cell communication and cell cycle, which is where you discovered the role of cells, how they communicate, and how they support life. Heredity, which included the genetic and cellular processes that occur in reproductive events and how they shape future generations. Gene expression and regulation, and how the structure and roles of DNA and RNA impact the physical genotype of individual organisms. Natural selection, where you applied all the cellular function and genetics you learned throughout the course to explain natural selection, evolution of a species, and changes over time and ecology, which tied everything together to focus on how a system is impacted by cells, energy, and its ability to respond to changes. Now, some of these units will be tested more than others. There will likely be more questions related to the natural selection unit than any other unit, while the chemistry of life and heredity units will be the ones that are the least asked about. But that doesn't mean you can slack off on those units because they are the basis of the other topics and will still be on the exam. Now you know what's on the exam, but you might be asking what the exam looks like. There will be two sections, a multiple choice section and a free response section, which will both be worth 50% of the exam. You'll have 90 minutes to do 60 multiple choice questions and another 90 minutes to do six free response questions. So doing well on both sections will be super important in order to get that five. You now know all about the exam, so what's the best way to prepare for it? AP exams are different from other tests you've probably taken in high school, because in order to get the score you want, you're going to have to put in the time preparing. And the best way to do that is to practice. Practicing questions that will be like the actual exam questions can help you identify the areas you need to improve on and grow in confidence for test day. If you do this, you'll be on your way to a five on the AP Biology exam in no time. Good luck!